Hello family, it's Ariana, your Tarot Life Coach, bringing you your April 2022 Tarot Reads. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, and some damn a dirty shoulder rubs. Thank you guys for joining me. If you're new to my channel, we're gonna have some fun. Let me tell you the lineup, okay? We're gonna talk a little bit about astrology, then we're gonna break it down into the um, elements, and then we're gonna break it down into the signs. And don't worry, it's timestamp, so you can just click on whatever it is you wanna listen to and forget all this other stuff. But we're gonna have some fun, all right? And if you're a returning family member, you already know what's up. You know we're gonna have a good, good time, all right? So let's jump into this real quick. April is going to be a very interesting month for us okay Aries happy birthday the fourth is my dad's birthday super excited to celebrate it with him now April 1st new moon April Fool's Day are you ready for this 12 degrees Aries it's gonna be hot it's gonna be popping it's gonna be ready okay wonderful time to set those intentions you have this Aries energy coming in spring is in effect it's a beautiful time 12 degrees comes down to the number three three is significant of new and exciting things right coming to the forefront now on the second Mercury goes Kazemi, 13 degrees Aries. So what is Kazemi? It means in the heart of the sun. It's a very super tight conjunction between Mercury and the sun. So think about Mercury is the planet of communication, divine communication by the sun. This is divine communication coming through. This should bring much needed clarity and communication and spiritual downloads as you're moving forward and how you want to move forward. On the fourth, Mars goes conjunct Saturn 22 degrees. Let's talk about this. Mars, we wants to take some action. Saturn said, make it worth it, okay? Like Missy Elliott said, is it worth it? Let me work it, okay? 22 degrees, we are building the foundation here. Mars is telling Saturn, like, hey, we gotta do this. We gotta put it in action. All that hard work that we've been doing is coming to the forefront. Now, on the fifth, Venus enters into Pisces. I'm a Morcito. You're so cute. You're so handsome, Pisces. Pisces, you're going to be looking good, all right? You're going to be looking hot. I, I like it. Now, love is in the air, okay? Pisces, dreamy energy, rose-colored glasses. Proceed with caution. Now, the 10th, the 12th, and the 13th. Best days to do astrological magic, right? The energies are beautiful. So if you want to light your candles, set intentions, do anything like that, this is a great days to do it. Mercury enters into Taurus on the 10th. Communication is going to get grounded, baby. On the 12th, we have Jupiter, this benefic planet, conjunct, which means it's right next to Neptune, 24 degrees Pisces. Lots of dreamy energy. Do something with dreams. Put your dreams. Make a dream board, a vision board. Get it out there and put it out there and do some magic. On the 14th, Mars goes into Pisces, okay? You're going to become very passionate about your hopes, your dreams, and your wishes, and you're going to want to speak from your heart. I love it. On the 16th, full moon in Libra 27 degrees 27 comes down to a nine this is a completion we're ready to move forward now this full moon in Libra is saying what's got to go what needs to go friend you need to be very fair okay it's not a time to be hostile ditty and crazy but be fair okay as you're moving forward think about the justice card weigh weigh and measure what needs to go now sun enters into Taurus on the 19th happy birthday baby happy birthday Taurus likes to party now on the 29th mercury enters into gemini gemini this wonderful uh communication is coming through but i'm gonna say this mercury rules the sign of gemini so it's at home here right it's like nice at home we talk and we gro we grooving but i'm gonna say be careful not to over talk you know with all this beautiful energy coming in you might say a little too much now, the 30th, we have Venus. Venus, I am Morcito. Conjunct Jupiter. Okay, two benefic planets sitting next together talking about stuff. 28 degrees Pisces, okay? They're right there. They're having a conversation in this dreamy energy. 28 comes down to a 10. 10 is telling you something has to end, so something can begin with the one. Now, new moon, partial solar eclipse at 10 degrees Taurus. We have two full moons this month. What are you going to release? What are you going to let happen? And Libra and Taurus are both ruled by Venus. What do you love? What do you love to do? And what are you going to do? All right. Beautiful, beautiful energies coming in this month. I do have to make a shout out. I want to tell Mama TW. I think that's what uh, I have her on, on Instagram, who I met, who sells this wonderful line of makeup called Lime Life by Alcone. Um, it's available in 34 shades, highly pigmented. It's great for camera. Let me know if you guys like it. I'm super excited 
tried it and it's a vegan okay so I'm gonna put her information on the bottom you can contact her get more information they make wonderful products but the foundation goes on super super smooth you can build it and work with it and put it on as much as you like all right so with that being said we're gonna jump into the science if you want to book a reading with me you can only book it through my I would say Instagram but it's not my Instagram through my I just went blank link tree I want to say tree of life link tree so you can book it through my link tree we can hook up I want to promote my DM readings for 2222 you get a quick answer within 24 to 48 hours okay one question don't be shooting me no hard questions it's like is this the right direction am I going in the right direction you know Questions that you need guidance on that you will receive your information either through DM or, or email, okay? Or text if that's easier. But you need to contact me through my DM, okay? Or you can get it on my link tree, okay? Now, if you don't follow me on Instagram, where the hell are you, friend? I go live. I do live readings. We have a great time. I don't know where you've been, but you need to be over there with me, all right? With that being said, let's jump into the reads. Hello, air sign Gemini. Ge I don't know why I get this 80s groove of Gemini, but then there's Libra. Libra's in the house. And Aquarius. Ah, ah, Aquarius. Yes, I get excited to do these readings. Today is my day off, though, so we're going to get these going. Now, we're going to jump into a generalized read. We're going to do a pick a card for your questions, and then we'll get into the signs, okay? So, we're going to start off with what planet wants to work with you. Ain't no other than Big Daddy Saturn, okay? Get your shit together, guys. Get it together. <laughs> so, this is about being realistic about your goals, your plans. Remember, the best days for magic are going to be the 10th, the 12th, the 13th, and the 14th, okay? I might, might have missed the 11th. I don't know when I was taking my notes. Now, it's going to be a, the 12th, 13th, and 14th are going to be the best days for magic, okay? Now, this is about you really making a plan. Saturn is like, look. Get your shit in action because when Mars gets close to me and you're ready to go into action, boo, we're going to make it happen, okay? I also want to say orange is going to be a very powerful color for you. Really working with that sacral energy, clearing that sacral energy, working with that energy to be creative, to make better business plans, better plans in love, things like that. Now... You have carnelian. This is creativity coming in for you. A carnelian is such a beautiful color. Deep orange. It works with the sacral. works with your creativity and your sexuality. What's going down, air sign? I want to know. Now, this is very grounded. It helps you with your reproductive, with your creative energy, how to work more consciously and clearly. It also alleviates exhaustion and depression um, and anxiety. So you can carry it around with you. You can also put it on your nightstand to increase the bada bing bada boom you know now it also stimulates your body and it helps with asthma and lung issues this crystal indicates it's time to draw on your inner creative power and regenerate your life in what areas do you need to move over forward what needs to change what needs to develop right now your ancestral message is going to be completion Okay, now I'm not going to give you the meaning of this card. I'm going to tell you what I'm really feeling. Saturn, Carnelian. There are some projects that need to come to the forefront. They need to come to an end. You need to complete your projects. Whatever it is that you started, whatever it is that you're doing, it's time to finish them. You're also trying to find yourself on solid ground. Connect more to your tribal essence. Connect to the energies that make you feel secure and grounded as you're moving forward, okay? With a lot of orange. So burning orange candles, really working with that sacral energy to complete what it is that you need to start, all right? I also feel like with the energy of the drumming and you have the rising phoenix on the drum, there's something about um, trance, like going into trance, going into meditation. Think about the bear energy. The bear is a very strong energy. Is there something you have to protect? And then the falcon on top or the hawk, I don't know which one animal it is, but it had to have a bird's eye view of how you want to move forward. Now, Akashically, you have that of add some. I am telling you, your spirit guides, your ancestors, they're coming through. They're like, hey, boo, we got you. You want to finish stuff? Let's finish it. Especially Mars 4th. Mars 4th. On the 4th. That's my dad's birthday. Okay. Mars is conjunct Saturn, 22 degrees. The number 22 is here. The 22nd could be very important for you as you're moving forward. So pay lots of attention to that. Okay. This is going to help you make better decisions as you move through the month. Now. This is crazy, guys. So I pulled just extra guidance, okay, extra guidance. Something could have happened on the 22nd of March. I want you to also pay attention to 
um, December 22nd. I feel like there's going to be a big change in your life coming in. Now, there's something coming in, but your ancestors and your spirit guides, which are represented by the zebra, are telling you that you need to work on balance with your divine masculine and feminine. How are you learning to listen and move at the same time? You know, are you always trying to be in control? Are you letting others take? Where is the balance needed? But don't worry. There's a lot of changes blowing in. It could be a sudden move, a change in direction in relationships or work, but your ancestors got you. So it was really interesting because I couldn't choose which animal deck to use and I went went ahead and went with this deck and I was shuffling and I was like, you know, it'd be really crazy if the zebra card came out and guess what? The zebra card came out. So I know that the zebra has a message for you. Let go of your fear and know that you're safe and protected at all times. There's no need to be afraid of anything, air sign. You've got this. You're going to move forward. You're going to be blessed and all is going to work out. There has to be balance. And the thing about a zebra is none of them look the same. They all look alike, but they're patterns are all different. You are a unique individual having a unique experience. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to move in the wrong direction sometimes. You know, we're human. We're here to learn. But your ancestors and your spirit guides, they got you. Now, when it comes to this double full moon magic, what they want you to focus on is strength. Some of y'all could be dealing with Leo energy because of the little kitty cats right there or another fire sign. However, she is strong. She's in her element. Where do you need the strength to make the completions to build a new foundation to move forward. And that's the way you're going to process it, or that's how you could process all this information that I just gave you. All right. So I want you to think in your, in your mind's eye, like two questions you have, like you just need immediate answers. I am using the muse tarot to answer them this time. Okay. So this will be a yes or no. Let me look at the bottom of the deck and get a little bit more guidance. I always like to look at the bottom of the deck. And if you're not following uh, www.ritualine.com, you really need to go over there. I just posted a new article and there's so many cool things down there. Okay, there is something coming to a completion for you guys. You guys have the world there and it's time for a new start. It's time for a new beginning. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. It's going to be okay. So for question number one, you have the two of voices. This is the two of swords. Okay. And you see how it's being split in two. You need information. The number two, two, two could be very important for you guys as you move forward and the number 21 and 12. So because the world is the cosmos is 21 and then we have a 12 on this card. Now the two of voices coming in for you. I'm going to say this is a no. You need more information. You have to take control. You have to move things. It's your choice on how you want to live your life. If you chose card number two or question number two for your answer, we could choose both, doesn't matter. I'm going to say this is a yes. It's the muse of emotions, the, the queen of cups, right? And she's drinking of her own cup and she's able to make these decisions that she needs to make in order to move forward. There's this energy of, yes, I got all that I need within me to move forward and move on. Very, very beautiful energy coming through for you. Okay, let's look and see what we have as a general read for our beautiful air signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, what are your energies? Remember the zebra energy, okay? Don't be afraid to let go of what no longer serves you. Let's cut this deck. Look, we have the lovers reversed with the nine of swords. You're afraid to make the wrong choice. You're afraid to leave a relationship, stay in a relationship, leave a job, stay in a job. You're so afraid to make this. It keeps you up at night, actually, when you're trying to sleep with the nine of swords. It's known as the nightmare card. The nine of swords is also like a mental prison sometimes for us. The lovers reverse is like we're stuck at this crossroads and we don't know how to move forward. Okay. Now, you're also dealing, I'm going to say, we got a lot of twos coming out. We're probably dealing with decisions in the second house. The second house is ruled by Taurus. This is your finances, your, um, your money, how things are moving forward. And I want to say your fourth house might be really affected too. So your second and your fourth house, whatever is that in your chart. Fourth house is ruled by Aries, I think. Yeah. Let's see. No, no, it's not there. <laughs> I'm like lost aries taurus gemini cancer so things in the home we're worried about things in the home okay let's see what's going on
Four of Cups Reverse. We want something new. We want something exciting. We want brand new fun. Like, Four of Cups Reverse is like, look, I got to go. I need to move forward. I got to do this. Your spirit guides are coming in very strong. Four of Swords Reverse. Get up off your ass and do something, baby. You got to get up, get out, and do something. Nine of Wands. Get out of your head. The longer you're in your head and you're fighting this decision, the more change isn't coming for you. Because it's almost like this cycle keeps repeating and repeating for you. And it's just time for it to go forward. Now look at this. You have two spirit guides right here. One for love, abundance, and the other one for communication, right? So in this scenario that you're going through, I kind of feel like it is important for you to rely on your higher self, on your higher power, on your spirit guides, on your ancestors with prayer and meditation. Because you got to build that foundation. The double four is telling you it's a safe and secure time. You will have enough to establish your hopes, your dreams, and your wishes. You're going to be financially okay, emotionally okay but we are dealing with the king of pentacles reverse and this could be you or someone else you're dealing with the thing is with the king of pentacles reverse this is someone who's willing to do just about any damn dirty thing to get whatever the hell they want okay so be careful all right now with the four of cups and the other fours that were here the four of wands and the four of pentacles somebody is doing the most so either that is you Okay, sit your ass down or somebody you're dealing with. And by doing the most, it's al it's almost very confusing for you in order to move forward. Okay, so we are going to jump into our individual readings. We're going to go into Gemini, Libra, then Aquarius. All right, be right back. Hello, Libra. How you doing, Libra? What's up? Looking over there, aesthetically perfect. Ow, I love it, I love it, I love it. So, let's talk about what we have going on. We have the Hierophant, the Hierophant, the Two of Cups, the Empress. Hold the F up with the Four of Cups reverse overall. Who is falling in love? Who's having marriages? Who? What we, what we doing, Libra? What are we doing? Leave it in the comments, okay? I want to know. I do feel like if this is, I also want to say, like, if you're not in a relationship, this could be you really increasing your spirituality, moving yourself to the next level, um, getting exactly what you want, okay? So let's see. Let's do a pick a card for the Hierophant. I love this Hierophant, okay? Nabu is like, he got two watches on. He know what time it is, okay? He know what time it is. He ain't playing with y'all. Y'all over there playing. Nabu said, no, not today. I got this, okay? I got this, and I'm going to move forward. All right. Let's see what we got going on here. I'm looking at the numbers. I'm going to say, no, I'm going to hold off, okay? I'm going to hold off on numbers. So let's see here. Um, the Hierophant for card number one, card number one or card number two. The reason why we need that higher love, that higher power is because we have a lot of anxiety right now. So I feel like with the anxiety and all this red, it's going to be important for you to get very rooted and grounded and work with that root chakra. Your root chakra is going to be very important, especially with your finances also. And I do think that it's time for you to face and see what this anxiety is really about. And I'm going to go to these cards and what's, what's going to help with the anxiety here? Grieve your losses. So some of y'all could have gotten out of a bad relationship or something of that nature, and now you're in a new one, right? Or you left a job, and now you're in a new job, and you're just like, oh my God, I hope it's not like the last job. I hope, and you're putting a lot of negative energy out there. And anxiety is something that, you know, when people say, oh, well, just don't be anxious. Oh, okay, you know. Yeah, that's going to work. You know, so anxiety is something that we have to face, we have to deal with, and I think it's important. Am I screen recording? Good Lord. It's important for us to face those things. And then you have the temple path coming in for card number two. So the 18th might be really important for you, okay? Right before Taurus season happens. And the Hierophant represents Taurus, right? For the first card. I went, I went too fast, sorry. That energy is telling you get very grounded and work with your higher power. Card number two with the temple path. This is a great day for magic, okay? Jupiter conjunct Neptune, 24 degrees. Clean your home. Okay, clean things up. Really focus on what you want in your home because by May 12th, something very important is going to happen. And for Libra, card number one, May 18th, pay attention to those things. This is about making your house a home, okay? Seek the hidden treasures. And where's my book? I always keep my book right here when I talk about the home. But if you don't have the high vibe home, I don't have it right by my table. I usually have it right here because I talk about it in every live and every video. 
If you don't have the high vibe home, you need to get it. If you're redecorating, you're changing things around in your house, things like that. It's a beautiful book written by my friend Kirsten. Okay, I'm looking for it right now. Oh, it's way on the other side of the room. So with that energy that's coming in, you want to find, like if you're trying to redecorate or something like that, you know, you want things to be different. You're looking for this redecoration. Make sure that when you're redecorating that you're looking through what you already have and maybe you can upgrade it and you can make it look better and new again. Okay. So let's see here. Let's get some more guidance coming in for you. Sorry, I'm like looking like a maniac for what's going. What are we doing? <sighs> what needs to be cut off? Logically, what needs to be cut off? And it's interesting that it falls right on top of the anxiety. And where do we need to invest? Okay, where do we need to invest our time, our energy, and our money? And we already know we have the high priestess coming through. There is like this vibe that you're having, okay? This vibe that you got going on in this situation where your higher power is already telling you, hey, we need this. We need this to happen. We need these things to occur, right? And the high priestess is telling you like, hey, you already know where you need to put your money and what you need to do. Give me some guidance on the queen of swords, the man bun. So some of y'all are having some anxiety about maybe a relationship, okay? Or you're like, okay, this individual, I don't know how I feel about them to trust your intuition. And some of y'all are seeing things through rose-colored glasses. And it's okay, you know, it's okay, but don't let the pride get in your way. There's this really interesting energy of looking at things logically. I get a lot of Taurus and Libra energy coming in, Venusian energy. Uh, maybe you want to redecorate, maybe you want to get a new job. But it's like really, really look at the situation for what it is. What is really needed? Where is the truth of the matter really lie? Now let's look at the two of cups. Two of cups for you. Ten of wands just flew out. So we're tired and we want something new. And we want it to go into action. This two of cups, look, a lot of times I see two of cups and I think this is love, you know. But this could be you and your spirit guides pouring into each other. Remember, they're all around you with that zebra energy. And I feel like you've been carrying a very heavy load. It's just like you're exhausted and you're ready for something new and exciting. And here she's looking at the water and she's like, okay, I'm ready to move on. Some of y'all are ready to move on in a relationship. Some of y'all are just ready to go. It's just time to go. Um, look, there he is. The gentleman, the cross, and the tree with the fox over here. So I have like a businessman, okay, or a business um, person. Sometimes it's a bit of a burden, but they're very grounded. And I think you might have left a relationship where you were not prioritized, okay? And this energy that's coming in is like, look, I want to I wanna partner with you. I want to do this. I really like you. This is good energy coming in. The gentleman says, come away with me. Let's give this a chance. Let's enjoy this, okay? Let's have fun. The fifth is going to be very important for you. Venus entering into Pisces, okay? Because I have like three fives coming out for you. So pay attention on the fifth. You can meet somebody very important. I want to get a little bit more. Look, the six of swords and the star. You could meet them online. You, They could be like... A happenstance meeting. I feel like the stars are aligned. There's a trip that you also need to take, Libra. And go for it. Go for it. Just balance yourself and go. Let's get an oracle card here. The goddess of the moon. Remember, we have two full moons. What needs to be released? What really needs to be let go during this time? And pay attention to those things as you're moving forward. Okay, let's look at the empress. What does the empress have for us? The empress has the page of pentacles, the seven of cups. Again, you're not sure, and the queen of cups. Where you want to invest your love, your time, and your energy, right? And I really love this seven of cups card, right? Look, she's like looking. She's like... What do I want? What do I really want? What is this? And you know you got some bad options in there. You know there's some bad options, okay, Libra? So focus on the hidden treasures because you are creating your reality. And I like the two of cups going into the empress and then the queen of cups is looking at her cup. She's like, look, my cup is full. I'm doing okay. You know, I had to start over. I had to reinvest in myself, but I'm going to be okay. Like, the energy is beautiful for you. 
So let's see here. There could be a possible new relationship coming in, a new job. But there's something about releasing something. Look, more anxiety with the mice. We're very nervous. The snake. What else do we have here? What is this? And the lilies. It's too good to be true. Like, so you're waiting for the other shoe to drop almost. Like, you're like, mm, I don't know. I don't know because the last time it didn't work out for me or that didn't work out the last time. So I'm not going to trust it and I'm not going to do it. And that's not fair. Okay? So... It is a matter of releasing. I would say release with the full moon so that you can move forward. How do we deal with this anxiety? How do we deal with this anxiety? Anxiety has come up twice for you. Um, working with the moon energy is going to be important because the, the moons just came out. And seeds of your inner desires are coming to fruition. Do you trust the universe to give you the desires of your heart? Do you trust that the universe loves you? Do you trust that your creator loves you? Do you trust these things? Because you're putting your faith in what you're seeing as opposed to what you really want and believe in. And so as you're going through this Libra, it's very difficult for you to believe that this gentleman or this person that wants to go away with you is being for real. Like, you're like, whatever, you know, like you're crazy. I don't want to do it. But it's there, okay? That energy is there. It's a very beautiful energy. Um, let's get one final oracle card for the end of this reading. I want to say there could also be this energy of um, you really, look how they have stuff in their hands, right? So she's creating the fool here, and she's got her cup of love. You're creating your new beginning very vulnerably, Okay, and there is something about the earth and the water for you. There's something about going in between those two energies. All right, let's see what we got here. Rest. It's time for a nap, Libra. Take, sit your ass down and do what you need to do. What's at the bottom here? And know why you're doing it. Know why you're resting. Know what's going on. Understand what's going on. Remember, you want something new and exciting with this Four of Cups, right? You want something there, Libra. What is it? What's coming through? You have to make that decision, Two of Wands, to get that new beginning so I do feel like if there's anything about finances or a new beginning because you have the page you have the knight of pentacles and then you end with the ace of pentacles with something new and exciting that it's going to be important for you to pay attention to those energies as you move forward there's also something about the number four for you so make sure that you pay attention to that don't be afraid to use those days for astrological magic to make things happen, okay? Depending on what you want to manifest, you know, and research and ask your guides, is this what sits well with me? Is this what's good for me, okay? So let's look at your finances this month. Oh, that doesn't go there. Let's look at your finances. So I have the hangman, the eight of cups. Let me pull one more. Let me just pull from right here. And the Six of Cups with Death at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so the Hangman. You have been holding on very tight to something that needs to be released. Ask the universe to help you release with the Eight of Cups what needs to go, especially to make the transformation from the past or with your kids and let it happen. Some of y'all will be signing a lot of documents, okay, as you're moving forward, so congratulations. Now, let's look at a love. What's going on in the love bucket? The love bucket for my beautiful Libras. I do feel you're meeting someone, though. I got that song, Treasure, by um, Bruno Mars in my head. Treasure. Mm, 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 mm. So we got the star again, the two of swords, page of wands, ten of pentacles, overall energy, completion, happiness, moving forward, family celebrations. Some of you are going to be meeting somebody online and you're going to have a tough decision and you're probably going to go with a young fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, hey, Libra, leave them alone. <laughs> Let them be. I'm just kidding. And a lot of y'all are worried about the decisions that you're making in dating or in being with your partner because of the family choices, okay? So the star is telling you the nine of wands. Okay. This makes me think about a situation that you're super excited about, that you hope for, that you manifested, but you really can't tell anybody right now, right? So what does the two of swords want us to know? Two of Swords wants us to know 
the nine of cups. So some of y'all are moving. You're moving on. You're moving forward. Or what? You just moving. All right, Libra. Libra said, I gotta go. Oh, oh. So I do feel like you've been hoping and wishing. You've been looking at other situations. And the page of wands says king of cups energy. Okay? Like, let's start something new. Let's enjoy this. Let's be young. Let's be free. Ten of Pentacles wants you to know the tower. Okay, so some of y'all might be moving because of the children or moving because you want children, moving on because of children issues. Um, but with this situation, with the tower, with the Ten of Pentacles, I'm going to say be very aware of what you say at family events or family gatherings, okay? The Page of Wands and the King of Cups, there could be a decision between the two. And I kind of feel like... You know what? Let me just pull a little extra here. Let's pull on this page. Because the page is like, shit, let's do it. I got the lady, the sickle, and the owls. So we got to cut out the, the um, communication with somebody. We kind of got to cut out the gossip. Like, we can't tell everybody what's going on in our life. King of Cups says it's the clock tower. It's a matter of time for happiness and a blessing. And they're loyal. So I feel like maybe you dealt with someone who wasn't very loyal. And now you have somebody loyal coming in. It's very difficult for you to move on because you're so afraid of another tower moment. And when we live our life in fear like that, that everything is going to be like it was in the past, then we're unable to enjoy the present. Or we're unable to enjoy the blessings or the things that we've manifested because we're so afraid that those things are going to happen. Let's end our reading with forgive and forget. Think things through. And go with the flow. I'm telling you, there's this energy around you that you've been screwed over really bad, Libra. But not everyone's going to screw you over. You're lovable. You're kind. You're beautiful. And you're not always the hero in everyone's story. We are also the villains in other people's story. And when we can look at that and say, you know, it's perception, it's perspective, it's the way you're viewing things. I, I feel like there needs to be some intense conversations before we walk away or before we move on because you're moving on very fast. And I almost want to say like you are taking off your rose colored glasses. You're like, I want to see things for what they are now. I want something new and fresh and I want to go with an energy that's going to make me feel loved, adored, and cherished. And I don't care. I don't care if this picture-perfect Facebook life or whatever we're posting about isn't what it is anymore. I want to live my life. And I feel like, Libra, you're going to live your life and you're going to choose yourself first. And it's been a while since you've done that. So congratulations. Hopefully this resonated with you. If you like a reading, hit me up on my link tree or DM me. Remember, 2222 DM reads coming through for you, baby. One question. All right. Be blessed and I love you.